Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've actually held the camera, but uh, I had the day off and kind of don't really have much to do. And I have some new signature scooters that I've been testing out and uh, I thought I'd bring it along for the day because I also got some brand new signature grips by Snafu. So I'm gonna chuck those onto this scooter, but let's check these scooters out first. So this is the one I've currently been riding. You can see it actually just, I have ethic grips on it, but literally this is how I rode it straight out the box. Like I literally can ride this thing now straight out of the box. All I did was change the grip, so it just doesn't really count, you'd say. But um, there's also a gold one, so it's like a new colorway. Looking real nice. You might not be able to notice, but the deck is actually wider. That's the new deck, as you can see. And that's the old deck. This one's 5.6 wide. And that one was 4.8, I'm pretty sure. Or 5. It was 5 wide, actually. And then uh, this one's slightly longer as well. I'm setting up this bad boy. Uh, this one has ethic grips on it as well, but I'm going to switch it to my new Snafu grips, which I will show you now. They're really nice, actually. I'm super stoked on them. I'll try to get a close-up. Yeah, so here they are. They say my name and stuff. They're the same thickness as Ethi Grips because I like thick grips and they last way longer. I did actually try them before but they were a lot thinner so I got them to thicken them up. So yeah, I'm pretty excited but basically I just wanted to do more of a interactive video with you guys and just kind of my, my day to day what I'm going to do on my day off. And I'm going to go get sushi first and I'll bring you along and then I'm going to go to the skate park and then when everyone else finishes work and I can actually ride with someone, we'll go ride the land. So yeah, I'm going to put these uh, grips on. Let's get into the day. Just a quick comparison to see, you can kind of see how the difference. So if we just run that up, that's how much longer it is. And then it's kind of hard to tell how much wider it is, but yeah, it's a decent amount wider. Time to go get some sushi. Listen to this thing, this mad van, the belt on it is just like screeches. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw the bike in, throw the scoot in and uh, get some sushi and then head to the skate park. So if I don't see it sushi, I'll see it at the skate park. So I'm just getting to sushi. I got another quick hidden gem for you all. If you follow this playlist by Juzzy, it is so epic. If you're an OG scooter rider, you need to follow it. Oh, click the wrong one. It's like got all the old school um, edits. I mean, edit songs, it's so sick. Shout out to Juzzy Carter. Also, you can um, follow my Spotify and get all my playlists by following, I think it's like, if you type in Ryan underscore rides 1994, I'm pretty sure it comes up. So yeah, do that if you want to hear the music, but I'm gonna go get sushi. Alrighty, here we are. Cali, all by ourselves. I've switched to the GoPro just because it'd be easier to film. I'm gonna chuck it on my head for a bit and just Cruise around, you know, test out the new scoot. See how she goes. Feeling pretty good. I'm all by myself, so I'm not gonna go too crazy because we don't end up unconscious at the bottom of the ramp with no one here. But I'll cruise around and we'll see how this thing goes. Grips feel good though. I'm excited. <clears throat> Alrighty, first roll on the new scoot. New grips feel awesome. And one thing about this new scooter is the wheels, they're full cores now and they feel so good. Didn't even have to wax the deck. Woo! Ah, let's grind the rail, huh? Hurricane. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, let's try to mix it up a bit. Try to get some nose many combos. I highly doubt I get this first try, but if I do, then we're good. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Sorry, that was the first try. That's how I always know it's gonna be a good day when I land that first try. How does she slide? Oh, she slides good. It's crazy how much just like that few inches, like one inch basically, how much better that is for grinding. It's insane. Need to get that wax on it. She slides all right, but she could slide better with some wax. All right, let's do the opposite. We'll do bar nosy whip. Oh. oh well, I dropped it into a hang five, but that doesn't matter. Let's do this better, 270 backlit maybe. Flare, oh yeah. Chilling, chilling. Oh, 
Maybe I can't do that. <laughs> we want more spin, mate. More spin. No! 360, not 180. Oh! Oh, why? Now I'm stuck in the motion. I can't stop. I'm not going to stop now until I freaking land it. 15 minutes later. Oh! Oh. God damn it. I'm just gonna take it. Well, that was just terrible. GoPro's dead now, so yeah. We're just gonna take that. Wow, yeah, welcome to, this is an actual day in my life. This is usually what happens. I usually come to the skate park and I'm terrible. It's one trick and I just can't stop trying it. Even though I could probably do tricks that are way more technical and like probably look way better for footage. What happens is I get stuck doing one trick and I just, I can't stop myself from trying it. I just non-stop try it. But I mean, at least I kind of got it sketchy in the end, but it's just annoying, really annoying. But it's a blessing and a curse because eventually I land the trick. But now look at me, like I'm wrecked. I'm here by myself. Boring. Whew, alrighty, so that was a little bit of a depressing ride at the skate park, but hey, it happens to the best of us, and I want you all to know that. Even I have bad days, everyone has bad days at the skate park. However, I did jump on a BMX bike and I managed to get a few clips. I did like a 720 and then I was doing 900s fakey, and I eventually got it, which I'm pretty stoked with because I haven't done a 900 to fakey on bike for quite a while now. And then also did a flare combo, so. I mean, I ended up having a good ride. I ended up landing that trick kinda, a little bit sketchy, but I ended up landing it in the end, so whatever. Um, so now I'm trying to convince Gecko to come out and ride the flat bag for a bit, but I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but I'll just keep you up to date. So, see you in a sec. Alrighty, so it turns out no one wants to ride, or oh, everyone's at work. So, we're doing a solo ride by myself. Um, I don't think I've really ever rode here by myself just because it's pretty dangerous, but I'll chuck a GoPro on. I won't try anything like too crazy, and uh, we'll see if I can learn some new tricks during a solo session. But yeah, I gotta set up all by myself, so I'll see you in a second. And voila, great success. We are on, I've charged my GoPro a little bit in my car, and I uh, should be able to get a few clips, so wish me luck, and I'll see you on my head when we're going to do some new tricks. Alrighty, here we are. Solo session begin. First jump. I'm gonna do fronty double whip because I want a fronty triple whip. Whew. Not bad. Could have got it, but I don't have pads on, so I don't want to commit too hard. I should try a front flip bar to kickless. So I'll try that next. So, fronty bar, kicky. I just don't know how late kicky's gonna work because it's not a scooter. <laughs> But we'll give it a go. Oh, that works. That works. Ooh. Ooh, that's a new one. We got that. That actually felt chilling. I mean, I would have been a bit hectic on the kicky, like getting back on, but that felt good. I'll try to get that one a little bit better. I just um, don't want to commit with no pads. Shout out to the best pads in the game. Gain. All right. Funny bar kicky. Yep, that was it. Woo! That was basically the land. Just scared, I'm scared to commit to tricks when there's no one here because like if something happens, I'm just screwed. So I'm happy with that. That was my feet back on everything. I just didn't commit to the pedals for the land, but I'll do that one next lander session, I reckon. I wanted to try this last lander session, but I was too scared. I wanted to do fronty kicky. Late double win. No. I just didn't get the right kickless going. Still spun it, but it was nowhere near. We'll give it another one. Oh, that was a bit scary to commit to. Holy 
mother of gosh. Uh, all right, third time's a charm. See if we can get that foot at least near it. That's it. That's it. I mean, it kind of worked. Got it round. Like if I committed to my feet on, it would be sweet. But damn, that's scary. I actually did, so I did kickless late whip the other day, just randomly. Just because I was having such a bad day. I was trying to do front flip like triple bar, which I may, I'll give another go to the flat bag. But um, yeah, I was trying to do it to the landing and just didn't work. Got so angry and then I'm like, whatever, I'll just do, I'll do something crazy. And I ended up doing a front flip, um, kickless late whip. And I did it big too, which I was pretty stoked on. So you can see that clip. But um, yeah, I'll try fronty, fronty triple bar. Yeah. All right, wish me luck. I can't figure out if it's better to pass it or just catch and go. Like either do this or do this. If I can do that without catching it so fast. Ah, see? What the fudge? Ow! That hurt my hand so bad. Ah! Oh. See, that's the problem I was having the other day. Like, I got it to work so good to the bag, and then I'm like, I'm gonna do it to the landing. And then as soon as I went to go to the landing, I kept like hitting my leg just like that. And just then I hit my leg. And then I tried to keep it going and I slammed my freaking hand into my bars. I don't know. Maybe it's better to just go past one, two, three. I'll give that a go. So, like catching it and just going boom, 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 boom. Whoa, far out, coming in hot. The further around you get on it, the harder it becomes to throw the bar spin. So, I'm gonna have to launder a lot more. We're gonna try just throw doubles like that. I've gone to work. I just gotta try to keep my legs out of the road. So if I could throw double and catch it good, I could do throw double to bar or throw double bar to, throw double bar to tuck. I just gotta get the throw double bar. I gotta like get my feet in the right spot. Oh, you butthole. Like what the fudge, man? What the fudge? Well, my knees are always in the road. Can someone dislocate my knees off and put them somewhere else while I'm in there? I like can't not hit them now. I try so hard. Yeah, see? That's what I like to do, baby! That's what I like! That's what I like, come on! We could just do that every time, that'd be great! Alrighty, since the kickies have been working good, I've never actually done a flip kickless, but I've done flip normal whip and flip upper whip. It's worth a try, for the YouTube. Wish me luck, if I can get this one, we're packing up. Oh, fudge! <laughs> oh gosh! I was thought the bike was gonna hit me in the back. That would be a great way to finish. Alrighty, we go to Red Hot Crack. That was scary. Well, I think I'm gonna make it work. I just gotta get the kickless going harder. Oh fuck! I know he died, but that was it. Oh, I thought I was landing back on the bike. That was it, though. I'm gonna leave it at that. Holy crap, that was near death. But I like got back on, but I also nearly died. What is that? Why is it wet? I'm not sweating that much, am I? That's gonna wrap up this video, eh? So leave your Q and A questions down below. I'm gonna do a Q and A. This was a bit of a roller coaster kind of day, but if you did enjoy it, let me know in the comments. Cause I mean, I'm always down to do videos like this. Obviously I was just having a bad day and I was like, how can I make it better? I thought I'd film a video and obviously I was kind of in a weird mood but I finished it on a really good note like I'm really stoked on how I just rode the bag by myself and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video so let me know but um, that's gonna be it for this one and make sure you go subscribe if you haven't already turn on those notifications I love you all thanks for always supporting me you keep pushing making me push the limits like literally I'm just out here trying these tricks because of you basically so thank yourself for that and uh, I'll see you in my next video peace out